Dark DIY here with another great review for you. Today we're reviewing the Schwinn Trailblazer two seat bike trailer. So as you might or might not know, we do have a two year old called Maddie and she has not been able to bike with both Zach and I. And we feel kind of like, you know, almost a little bit bad every time we want to go biking. She's like, I want to go biking too. So that's why we bought the Schwinn Trailblazer bike trailer. Just some aspects of the Schwinn Trailblazer bike trailer. Has a quick access canopy, has an integrated bug screen and roll down weather shield to protect from the elements. It also has an easy attachment, which we'll check out later on. One time installation of bike with the universal coupler. And the thing that I like better about this one than other cheaper ones is that it has aluminum alloy frame and wheels. And they're not just plastic little circles that kind of propel the bike trailer going on. It has air filled tires, 20 inches. 20 inches means a smoother ride, with bigger tire. It also comes with a stroller kit, so you can actually make this a stroller. It has space for two. Again, I bought the two seater, so that way we had a little bit more space for her. We're gonna see if it can make it one in the middle. So I'm interested in seeing that, because some people said it could, some people didn't even really report that you can make it for one. And finally, it has a foldable design, so it folds all up for compact storage and transport. This is what comes in the box. You got two nice quality wheels. They do come with reflectors too, which is nice to see. You have a front wheel. You have directions along with just a couple screws. There wasn't a lot of screws, so it doesn't look like it's going to be a lot of assembly. You have the attachment point on your bike. That's the thing you have to install. And finally, you have the handle to make it a stroller. The actual bike trailer itself and this other handle, which I'm not sure what that is yet. So we'll see what goes on as we build it. The goal is to attach it to my e-bike right here. And let's we'll see how that goes, because this is my new e-bike. I'll be reviewing this really soon. So I'll include a link to the review of this bike. But this is what we want to put it on. And we'll see if it happens. We have the attachment port right here. I have to see if it will actually support my e-bike. So as I'm building this, it indeed does have it so that you can run this as one seat as well. I love that feature. It'll give her a little bit more room in there. It is really easy to build thus far. It's just been a couple things. I had two screws to put in. That was it. The rest of it was just kind of set it up and lock it in place. So it's going well so far. This is it fully built. We just got to attach it to the bike with this mount here. So I'll put the mount on. That was pretty easy. Taking my time took about 10 minutes. Not bad at all. The tires go on really easy. I'm also going to check the tire pressure before we do that. But they do include a wheel that you attach to that to make it a stroller as well as the handle. But you don't use those if you're going to use it as a bike attachment. Attach the trailer to the bike. You're going to screw this on. Uh, I had to get a different nut because I had a flanged one, which means the sides were out and I couldn't have this hole down. So you have to make sure that you have the right nut to go all the way in that hole. And then you're just going to line up this with the input here, line up the holes, and you're going to put the pin that they provide through the hole to the other side. You also want to attach the safety strap at all times. Just go under the frame of the bike. I'm just going to use this rear wheel frame part here. Strap it through there. It's very, very tight as it should be it's gonna catch and then you just clip it to this loop right here and that's your secondary safety in case something fails over here in the back here you have storage and I believe that the weight limit is five pounds back here but it's a nice little thing and it's held together by velcro and it has a nice bit and everything in it they have all the little things that you could want in a bike trailer So I had it down with the motor going 20 miles per an hour and there were no problems. Say hi. Maddie, are you having fun? Yeah. Who do you have with you? Water. You have water? Who else do you have with you? Yeah, Mickey? Nice. Oh, do you like your bike? Yeah. All right. We're going to get going, okay? Okay. All right. All right. We've been using the Schwinn Trailblazer for a while now. And as you can see, it's held up pretty well. Works great on my bicycle. Uh, I will say that it also stains easy, but I guess that's something to uh, expect when you have children inside of it. So not a big thing. And I also changed this so that it's only Maddie. It's set up to be a one-seater instead of two. I just had to reduce some of the straps here in the back. Really easy to do, and it's worked great ever since. Really useful have been the side pockets. She puts her water in here, some snacks in here, and she has more than enough space to move all around. So yeah, 
I would definitely say that the Schwinn Trailblazer is really good as long as you get it for the right price, which I paid around $200 for this, which I thought was a lot at the time, but honestly, it's built really well. I'm glad that I didn't get the plastic wheels. I'm glad I got the rubber inflatable inner tube ones, if you will. And yeah, I will say that it handles great even above the 10 miles per hour that they suggest. I had to do that one time just to make sure that we got home on time. Very stable, reliable. And what I also like is that the Trailblazer stays right behind the bicycle at all times. Uh, even if I make uh, slightly tight turns, it goes with me. I've had no problems with it. It's directly behind the bike. As far as the storage space back here, this is also a good thing. I haven't used it a lot, but I would if I went to different places and not just around the neighborhood i will say that sometimes she puts her drink and snacks back here though when you're not looking so i don't know if she goes through the side which i'm guessing she does but you can get food and snacks back there from the front seat so just be careful on that and other than that it's an excellent buy i was gonna buy a used one but i'm glad i bought new it's just a lot easier and you know everything's there and everything this is what it packs up into so if you're gonna take it anywhere to the beach have to put it in your car packs up to a nice convenient size uh, the wheels just pop off they have a little latch that you got to pull on to get the wheels out but it does a nice job overall i do recommend the schwinn trailblazer if you're in the market for a bike trailer definitely better than the cheaper options that have the plastic wheels the rubber wheels absorb the shock more and i've taken this thing up hills down hills with the motor on my e-bike with it off and it has worked great i also like that the wheels are 20 inches so that they give you a little bit more cushioning when you're going around rough terrain the bug net i was a little skeptical about because i thought these were a little bit big on the amount of holes that they have in them i was looking i was thinking that would be more like a screen material but i have had no bugs enter this thing so it must work because i've ridden through a lot of bugs the sides there it doesn't overheat because it does have lots of ventilation and although i have not been able to try the rain cover it looks like it'll do the job. It has some Velcro right here, or hook and loop, if you will, to attach that on there. There might not be a lot of ventilation from the front, but you can come to the back here and keep this open for during the rain. However, rain might get in there. So, you know, it's up to you, but I've had no problems with uh, ventilation at all. Pros and cons about the Schwinn Trailblazer. Pros. Really easy to pack up, only takes a couple minutes. 20 inch wheels absorb the shock, especially seeing that they're regular rubber tires. Uh, the flag's a cool addition, just very safety minded. The color is pretty nice too. And the rain cover and bug screen are great. Cons about the Schwinn Trailblazer. I would say that I'm not happy that the seats stain really easy. I'm not expecting this to stay totally clean but we've only had this now for about three weeks or so. And I've ridden the bike quite a lot with Maddie in the back here, but uh, it stained really easy in there. So that's up to you. I mean, I know it's gonna be used. I don't have a big problem with it. The other con, if you're going to use this as a stroller, which you can, they give you a wheel that attaches to the front there, but it seems like there's a lot of setup for that just to make it a stroller. You have to attach another handle here and you have to put the wheel on front and that wheel is gonna be out front. So that's gonna be a pretty good distance. So it's great that it has the feature. I'm glad it has the feature of being a stroller, but at the same time, I can't see myself using that. Again, I bought it to be a bike trailer though, so I don't consider that a problem. My book, it's just what could be a con if you're really looking for a stroller with a bike trailer. If you're on the market for a bike trailer, you might want the Schwinn Trailblazer. Highly recommended. I would give it four and a half out of five stars. I can't see there being one better than this. For the price that I paid, I think I was not ripped off or anything. I think it does a great job for what it is. And I do recommend it if you're in the market for a bike trailer. If you'd like to purchase the Schwinn Trailblazer bike trailer, please look for a link in the description below. We'll send you to Amazon. We can purchase your very own. Every purchase will help support the Eric DIY channel. We appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that we'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate all your support. Thank you and have a great day. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at Eric. 5150 DIY at gmail.com. Have a great day.